My name is Carl Palmer. I've returned home after 20 years abroad to find the son I abandoned in Catrick when he was just four years old. This is the story of that search. a bone on because of you, and I want to pick it. There are several mysterious turquoise patches in prominent areas of the dining room carpet. Find out what produces these marks and report to me. I want them removed. Now get up and work. Uncle Rodney, will we soon be free of these frankly startling turquoise stains? It won't shift, Mr. Oates. It's quink. Quink? Quink? What 
the Docker Pig or No, that's Quack and Oink. Uh, this is Quink. It's a brand of ink. Quack, Quink, Oink, Ink. I don't give a flying picket! Just get rid of it! I can't, Mr. Rhodes. It's indelible. I'm not asking you to eat it! And do those people at Quink know what a startling stain their product causes? Sort it out, sausage face! <laughs> All right, Mrs. Sutherick, can I give you a hand? No, I'm all right, thank you, Chris. Right, I'll just watch them. Are you all right, Chris? We hardly ever see you out and about these days. Yeah? Well, I'm out today. Ha ha! How's your Trevor? Oh, he's fine. He had his 40th birthday party last week. Why didn't you come? Parties of the kids. Anyway, I didn't know it was on. Didn't you see the balloons on the gatepost? Yeah. I just thought you were raising your gatepost. Gatepost. Raising your gatepost. Who are the flowers for? My brother Carl has just gone out the army today. Oh, that's nice. Is he still married to Judy? Oh, oh, wish, wish, wish. Don't mention that, no. That's why he transferred to Cyprus. She was having sly love with a midnight creeper. Oh, fucking hell. I know. Chris, you're looking good, man. You've hardly changed at all. Apart from the beard, like. I know, I cut most of it off. Snip, snip, yeah. Looks good anyway. I like your new stance and all, it works. You look cool. I know. It's nice to see you and all. Obi Wan Kenobi. Ha ha. Ha ha. Are these out to do with you, Chris? No. Well, are they, aren't they, Chris? I don't know, they were just there. You know, if you got them for us, that's nice, Chris. I'll take them with us, you know. Well, I'm not bothered. Come here, Chris. It's really nice to see you, man. I'm glad you're still here, you know. I missed you. I have. Are you going to come and live with me at our man's then? Oh, I don't know, Chris. I haven't made any plans, really, you know what I mean? I've got other things to think about. Just have a drink or something. I've got a surprise for you. You follow me. Right, horse. Nice one, yeah. Chris, I can't follow you if you don't move, can I? You'll have to move. Oh, get it. All right, Chris, well done. Somebody above me is in a desperate state. Some kind of urgency, the kind that won't wait. I say tomorrow, he say today, and the man in my head, well, he tell me no way. Mark. Hiya, Tess. Mm. So these are the mystery stains his raw harness was on about. You having any joy? No, Tess. Uh, I seem to be uh, decreasing the intensity but increasing the impact. It, mm. You are aware it, it, it's quink, are you? Quink? No 
away, you'll lick my lips, ain't you? Who uses quink these days, especially in a dining area? Quink acknowledges no boundaries, Tess. Mm. It's a bastard. Oh, dear, 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 dear me, Mark. How terrible. Look, I don't know if it helps, but last night I was wiping myself off with a flannel and I got a Werther's original stuck to it. I got it off with a simple terp substitute. Very effective, although, of course, it rendered the majority of the Werther's inedible. Oh, uh, thanks, Tess, but it is Nibs has already told me he doesn't want me eating the carpet. Mm. Oh, your fella is furious. He's already threatened to sack me if I don't shift these stains. Oh, he's just nibbling your nuts. Roy Oates is a wanker. Come here, get up. I've got an idea. Yeah. yeah. Right, you wait here until I shout you. Let's see you, lads, get ready. Nice work, Glenn. Right, that's enough of that. <clears throat> Television's going back on now. Whoa, 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 excuse me, hold your horses. Do you feel you saw enough of that to get the full enjoyment out of the performance? Yeah, and I got the gist of it. Yeah, you did, didn't you? Good. Well, I wouldn't let's get the painting, eh? It's good to see you, man. Ah, <laughs> oh, you too, man. Yeah, other news. North Yorkshire Police Department's hey, controversial yeah. American nice star detective, right. Keith Fowler, gave his first press conference today. The I would like to thank the North Yorkshire Police Department for putting their faith in my incredible abilities. I intend to make the county an environment where romance can blossom. Where children can play in the streets with their hoops, tops, and jack in the boxes. Where pensioners can guard their melon patches without fear of Huckleberry Fence down moonlight attacks. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. What? Four pints and some crisps to make it snappy, that's a crocodile joke. Ha ha. I say, Pat, I think I might have just accidentally fed your dog. Shit. Yeah, how did you know? Do you want this spatchcock? What is it? It's a type of flattened chicken. Flattened them myself. I reversed my van over them at dusk this morning. Hand. No, oh, no thanks. I like my chickens plump. Pat, did you just say hand then? Yes, I did. I enjoyed it. You mind if I use it? If you like. All right, I will do then. Four pints, please. Hand. Hardly change, lads, you know, apart from looking a lot older like. Look, Carl, before we get too drunk, I'd like your advice. It's just that, well, as you know, my trade is polishes, sealants, varnishes, associated products, you know, application, remedial works, even troubleshooting. But yesterday, the DSS made me attend an interview for the job of a drummer 
with a Caribbean rock funk band. As I understand it, a bit like Osabisa. very worrying. I mean, the wife is very cold to the touch, you know, she's absolutely nithered. I mean, how would she feel if I was suddenly to start travelling the world with a black funk band? I mean, imagine me with caviar and champagne, drinking exotic cocktails at Ronnie Wood's Beach Bar, drinking coconut milk out of a native's brazier. It just doesn't add up. I'm a polishes man. Do you not think it's a bit suspicious? I mean, the job, it went to a black man. I mean, quite right too, but... This whole episode has made me very worried, to say the least. And the wife, well, I'm spending an absolute fortune just trying to keep her at a half reasonable temperature. It's probably just an administrative error, Ian, you know? No, no, it, it's much more than that, man. Right, get them down your necks. Everybody's going for those kinky boots, kinky boots. Kinky boots, it's a manly kind of fashion that you borrowed from the brutes. Borrowed from the brutes. Kinky boots. So, Blanco Rodney, let us see what my little stin devil has achieved. Mr. Oates. Come here. Sit at my feet. Tell me, boy Vanda. What do you see before you? Well, you, Mr. Oates, with your leg cocked up on the table. It's never mind about cock up on table. What do you see? Well, you, Mr. Oates, the, the hotel manager. And does this hotel manager look like the type who likes to have his plonker pulled? I don't know, Mr. Oates. You tell me. Do not be insolent to me. What you have done here is an outrage. It is a joke, an unforgivable joke. Maybe it is time for you to leave us here. Oh, for Christ's sake, give it a rest, Roy. Why should I look what he's done? Oh, stop scratching your sack. It was my idea to cover the stains. I thought it... Whoa, 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 whoa. I thought... I do not pay you to think! I am the brains behind this operation! You're as bad as him. You undermine my authority. He goes, I go. We're both just trying our best. Well, maybe your best isn't good enough. Consider this your final warning. Now pull me off. Stupid idea. You you wouldn't really have left, would you? I don't know. Wouldn't bet against it. So anyway, lads, what's been happening? What's the news? Ian's joined a rock funk band. No, I haven't, man. That's what I'm telling Carl. Yeah, all right, Ian. No, what's been happening for you, Chris? Pickfords have changed the livery on the removal vans. Oh, wow. So what was Cyprus like then? Cyprus? Oh, right, Cyprus, yeah. It was hot, you know, and sweaty. Shellfish and shit! All right, Dan. Hello, Carl. How you doing? Nice to see you. All right, Dan. Hey, come over here. What have you got, then? What, apart from the pox? <laughs> the pox? Eh? Me with a pox? <laughs> Who'd have thought it? Right, what have we got today? We've got the cockles, we've got the prawns, we've got the whelks, we've got the crab sticks. Crab sticks? <laughs> Who'd have thought I'd ever have crab sticks? I never thought I'd have crab sticks. <laughs> we've got eels, we've got wingles. Yes! Well done, Dan. I think you got a hit there. 
Len, was it the Winkles? Goggles. Crab sticks. Yes! 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 So was Chris managing on his own? Is he all right? We don't see much of him, really, do we? Well, he comes in most Fridays. And if he's playing nearby, you know, I'll sometimes go and see his act. Hold on a minute. What's your main act? Oh, wait till you see him. <laughs> he certainly brings a crowd in. Don't tell him at all, you know. I think he might want to keep this as a surprise. No, of course not. Sounds brilliant, like. You know, I've got a little surprise lined up for him, you know. Do you know the Mermaid Hotel? Oh, the Mermaid Hotel's a lovely hotel. It's a lovely hotel, the Mermaid Hotel. Is it warm? Anyway, ever since he was young, you know, he's wanted to stay at the Mermaid, like he used to say to me, oh, girl, gonna stay at the Mermaid Hotel one day. You know, it's like... So anyway, I've booked a couple of nights there for us. So if I leave with him and make an excuse, don't cause a fuss on out, yeah? No, it's warm. It is warm, the Mermaid, Ian. Is it? Why do you treat Mark like that? He's a treasure. He's a real hard worker. If he left, you'd never replace him. <laughs> he would never leave. Well, he will if you keep tugging his testes. No, he won't, Tess. I have something he needs very badly. And until he gets it, he is my chattel. Just like you. Now back to work, my love. It need not concern you. So what's the plan, then? What are we going to do? Hey, out, you want Chris the days, but young, innit? No, what I meant was. Well, are you gonna come and live with me at our mum's old house? Well, to be honest with you, Chris, you know, there's not that much left around here for me. Apart from me? Oh, yeah, Chris, of course. And I mean, it's brilliant to see you, you know, but I mean, the main reason I came up was to see if I could find my son, Paul, you know? He won't remember me, I don't expect, but probably thinks I've abandoned him just like our dad did. I mean, God knows what Judy's told him about me. You never mentioned this before? Yeah, well, I know, Chris, I've been trying to put it, you know, at the back of my mind. Thought maybe I'd forget him, but it don't work like that. I'd love to see him, you know, even if it was just for a minute. My little pony. What have we here? Well, um, I found these carpet tiles, uh, and they're a natural stone colour. I, I thought if I, I laid them out over the mystery stains, they could create a kind of uh, stepping stone effect. Might be quite pleasing. My word. That is good. That is very good. <laughs> <laughs> but not complete. Yes. Your sensational pathway must lead to somewhere. To a centerpiece, to something inspirational. Yes, I have it! This photograph of me and a frogman. Now put it up. I've got an address for Judy and Catrick, and I've written to her, but she hasn't replied, you know, so. Right, well, let's go and see her then. Well, Chris, how are we going to get a Catrick? By car. I only ever travel by car. Yeah, well, we haven't got a car, Chris. Well, let's go and get one, then. And how are we going to do that? Same way as we always did, remember? I'll go and tell the lads that we're going to Catholic to see your Paul. Right. In one of your cars. What? I was interested in one of your cars you got out. All oh, right, yeah, of course. Which uh, car was it you fancied? 
Right, it's just this one here. I like the look of this one. Oh, yeah, and why'd you like that one? Do you know it's the colour? I really like the colour. The colour? That's a 4.6 Vogue, all the toys. You like the colour? Yeah, well, it's for the wife. You know, she'd like the colour. You know what women are like. No, no, I don't know what women are like. No. OK, then, so tell me, what is it you like about the car? So much, you know, the big wheels, it's height off the road, it's, uh... You know, most of all, mate, I like the fact that you chose to drive it. How did you know that? Well, I saw you pulling in earlier. Well, you saw me coming earlier, did you? Oh, you're nosy, aren't you? Yeah, bit. Come in here. Oh, no, I know. Let's go for a test drive. I'm sure you'll find it very appealing. Smashing. So, you ever driven an automatic before? Uh, no, I've heard about them, though. Oh, well, as long as you've heard about them, we're all right, aren't we? So, how long have you worked at the garage, mate? What? Oh, uh, I've worked there since I was six. So, how would you like the ride? Oh, it's smashing. It's nice and high up, isn't it? Yeah, well, there's uh, no body roll, air suspension and that. Air suspension? I've heard of that. Oh, have you? You've heard of that, have you? That's all right, then, as long as you've heard of it. That's the main thing, isn't it? Yeah, it's a lovely smooth ride. Mm, you make sure you enjoy it. You never know, it might be your last. Right, hey, mate. Jesus, who's the monkey? Hey, watch your mouth, mate. That's me brother. It's all right, they do look a bit like a monkey. Hey, Carl, I like this ride. It's nice and high up. Oh, it's smashing. It's beautiful, isn't it? Anyway, enough of the sales patter. I know the wheels go round and round, but what's the story prior to that movement? Well, it's a very complicated piece of machinery. All right, I understand, then. That's great. So, could you pull over now, mate? Let me have a go, yeah? Yeah, all right, but just for five minutes. <laughs> just like old times, eh? Yeah, good work, bro. You two are dead. So, where do we now? Not on a special occasion like this, Chris. Where else would a mermaid hotel? Monkey man. My name is Carl Palmer. I've returned home after 20 years abroad to find the son I abandoned in Catrick when he was just four years old. This is the story of that search.